Hello, it's Marco Montorsic here from Markham3D.com and today we're going to go through and create sci-fi panels very quickly. I'm just going to delete the default cube, shift A, add in a mesh. Let me just turn the screen couch keys on and let's just create a quick corridor. I'm going to extrude 2.5. So we've got kind of like a 2.5 meter um, corridor. Let's delete these two faces and I'm going to delete these two here. Let's press V, Control L, delete faces. So now I've got half, now I can come over to the mirror modifier, add in our mirror modifier on the Y, okay? And from here, let's just add a little bit of detail. So I just want to kind of bend that in a little bit, kind of want to bend that in a little bit. I might press V here to rip it, Control L, actually no, we'll pull this one down, G, Z, let's go extrude on the X, sorry, on the Y, and so we've kind of got this little bit of a ho overhang, and this is kind of like the basis of what I want to create. So from now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename this to the low, I'm going to shift D to duplicate and press right click to put that back in place. And we'll rename the other copy as panels. So let's get rid of the low poly. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to chop it up a little bit. But first, I'm going to add in a solidifier modifier. So what this has done is given a bit of thickness. Um, I prefer to have a little bit thicker. And what I want to do is put the offset to zero and enter. So what will happen is if we uh, enable the low poly and we go to a wireframe, if we go to wireframe and we come side on, will we be able to see it? Probably not. There, there we go, we can see it. So this section here is the low poly and this uh, yellow area that we've got selected are our panels. So press Z and back to solid. And what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode and I'm just gonna start carving pieces out. So it does get a little bit difficult to see um, so I just did an edge loop control R, right click to put that back in place. So what I might do is I'm just going to turn off the solidifier modifier. So I can't see it at the moment and let's get rid of load panels. So I've done one cut there. I'm going to do control B.01 to create a bevel. And then I'm just going to delete that face. And while we're at it, let's put in two edge loops, size X or SX. Uh, put it up here. I don't really want it there. I'm going to put another one up here. So from here, I'm going to do Control B point O. Whoops, sorry, point O one. Delete faces um, up here. Control B point O one. Delete faces. And then from here, I want to get rid of these. Control B point O one. Delete faces. And what are we left with? I'm actually going to select this face. I'm going to press I to do an insert. And then I'm going to press Control B. And then it's kind of created our panel. Delete face. Um, let's put one here. Control B. Delete face. And so this is what we're left with at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do from here is turn on our solidifier modifier. And now you can see that it's now yeah, solid. If I turn on the low poly, we've got sci-fi panels very quickly. But to make it look a little bit better, I'm going to add in one more modifier, the bevel modifier. And so now it's actually all rounded off. And so now it, it even looks even better. So let's throw in an array modifier just to, you know, give it a little bit more depth. I have to do it for the low one as well. So Add modifier array. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. And what else can we do here? Let's just move the camera. Alt R, Alt R, Alt G, Alt S, just to reset everything. R to rotate X 90, rotate Z 90, and it's facing the wrong way, so let's get minus. Let's get G Y, oops, sorry, G X 0. And I'm just going to dump this in here quickly. 
And so that doesn't look too bad. I'm going to press F12. What's going to happen? Go. What am I in? Am I in cycles? I don't know. Now I'm in EV. So, so from here, let's just add in a little bit of light. And I'm just going to do that off the cuff. Because it's a center. Actually, we can do it off the low. And let's just grab a face. This one here looks good. And what we'll do is we'll put it up in here. Rotate. Scale. There we go. Let's create some materials quickly. New, new. Second material will be my light. Um, base color. Now we want to change this to... Not principal, but emission. And we got white. I'm just going to bump that up to 10. Let's press zero now. Give me camera. Come on, camera. G X. And I just want to kind of look at the roof. Let's get rid of that light. And if I press F12 now, it is going in CPU. I don't want CPU. I want my GPU. Which is a GTX 980. Oh, fuck it. Odin's being stupid. <laughs> Um, let's have a look you know what and just on that quick render nothing rendered out and I believe I created the material come on I created the material and forgot to hit assign so now if I come in here um, performance Oh, jeez. 256 by 256 is good enough. F12. Let's have a look at what the render looks like quickly. That is by far not enough. So let's come back over here. And we will jump back into our material. Let's just bump it up to 100. And what we'll do is on this, let's create a new material here. I want to add in metallic just a little bit. Specularity. Sure, let's bring the roughness down. Sheen, let's go up a little bit. Let's just see what happens. Eh, didn't work out the best. Whatevs. We know, we can now see, this is how you can quickly create sci-fi panels. I do have another way of creating sci-fi panels, and I'll probably release that version next week. So make sure you hit subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out. And yes, thank you very much.